Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. Today, we're diving into a critical topic for Hackintosh enthusiasts. Fixing USB port mapping on macOS Tahoe 26.0. I'll tell you right away, this is a game changer for anyone struggling to get their Hackintosh running smoothly on Apple's latest OS. If you're familiar with Hackintosh builds, you know USB port mapping is the backbone of a functional system. And with Tahoe, Apple's thrown us a curveball. But don't worry, it's not as daunting as it seems. We'll break down why USB ports are breaking, how to fix them without remapping from scratch. We'll also touch on some lights and shadows of this process, so stick around for a clear step-by-step -step guide to get your USBs back in action. Let's start with the big issue. If you've tried installing macOS Tahoe on your Hackintosh, you might have hit the dreaded, still waiting for device error when booting from a USB installer. Trust me, I've been there, and it's frustrating. So, what's going on? With macOS Tahoe, released at WWDC 25 on June 9th, Apple revamped the USB stack. They've introduced new keys for identifying USB ports in the system's I.O. registry and system report. The old keys, USB connector for connector type and port for port number, have been replaced by USB port type and USB port number. It's a simple swap in theory but it breaks existing USB port mappings for Hackintosh users relying on kexts like usbports.kext or usbmap.kext. Here's the good news. You don't need to remap your ports from scratch, which is a massive time saver. If you've used the native ACPI method with UPC definitions, you're likely unaffected, as those work fine on Tahoe and earlier macOS versions. But for most Hackintoshers using kext-based mapping, this change is a hurdle. All right. Let's get to the practical stuff. How to fix your USB ports on macOS Tahoe. We will be using OC Auxiliary tool for mounting the EFI partition and editing the config.p list. Then the USB map injector edit by Corp Newt that will enable us to automatically edit the port names that is compatible with macOS Tahoe. Just Google for USB map Corp Newt and you will be seeing the GitHub page for his repository. Download the file by clicking the code button on the right side of the page. You may need to extract the zip file afterwards. Let's mount the EFI partition using OCAT. Select your drive to mount it up. Put your password when prompted. Let's do a backup of our EFI folder that will be saved on the desktop. You can minimize OCAT for now and launch your terminal app using the spotlight. Type in CD space downloads then hit enter on your keyboard. The next one, CD space USB map dash master. Then CH mod space plus X space usb map injector edit dot command then type in dot slash usb map injector edit dot command then press enter make sure you type it correctly since i mistype it on the first time if you don't have python installed on your mac this window will show i just press y to automatically install it wait for it until it finishes the downloading and installation of python now here is the main interface of usb map injector all you have to do is locate your usb map dot kext on your efi partition typically on your no-name partition, then EFI folder, under the subfolder of OC then kext. Drag the USB map kext into the terminal window. All the things that we will do on the injector is done in place and happens immediately. That's why we did a backup a while ago. Press enter to continue. Y-O you will see the current I-O kit personalities displayed above. Press U and enter to update the keys to Tahoe. Then press C and enter to set the classes to Apple USB host merge properties which ensures compatibility. When done, press Q to quit, close terminal, and you're set. You can close OCAT and reboot. Your USB ports should now work on Tahoe, and they'll still function on Sequoia or earlier if you dual boot. Let's talk about some real-world considerations. If you're dual booting Tahoe and Sequoia, test your USB ports on both after applying the fix. Plug in different devices, keyboards, drives, hubs, to ensure all ports are recognized. If you hit issues, check IO Registry Explorer to confirm the new keys are applied correctly. For SM BIOS changes, I recommend sticking to Mac models like iMac 19, 1 or MacBook Pro 16, 1 for Tahoe compatibility. Check OpenCore's documentation for supported models. If everything gets rough, you can always use the backup EFI folder that you made and boot into it. By the way, you can also do the port mapping on Windows using the bat file on the extracted folder. I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to all the incredible supporters and members of this channel. Your support makes everything possible. Thank you.
That's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.